name Victoria McLean and welcome to my Christmas presents of 2020 channel. <laughs> showing you all of the wonderful Christmas presents I have had for this year and let me tell you now I have been utterly completely and truly spoiled to the point where I had one present and burst out crying because it was so magical so if you'd like to see what items I've had this year then keep on watching if you would like me to bring Hogwarts to you then why not oh, <laughs> I did it again <laughs> sidetracked and I'm like <laughs> okay so let's try again if you would like me to bring Hogwarts to you then why not subscribe to my channel let's get started <gasps> Monica is obviously with me helping me because I have so many presents I can't actually keep them all in front of me on my little table so I'm going to get started with some of the presents I had off Monica and then we'll go back to it because I'm showing you the best ones till last all right because they are like amazing so I I had we bought these was it last Christmas we went to Tesco's and we got buy three for two we had two of these and another one it's a Christmas Yankee candle and it, this is candy cane forest and my god if this was smell -a vision you would love this candle right she actually shoved one of these up my nose the other day and asked me to guess what the, what the present was of course I was gonna guess it was a candle oh my god so this one is beautiful this one is yankee home inspired merry christmas it is so pretty this was the one she shoved up my nose she's so charming just so lovely i'm surprised she didn't shove my face in it so and then obviously that is the beautiful candy cane one so i because i love my smelly candles you know you i've said this before you you know me i love my smelly candles and you can see my gorgeous um, item from lit joy in the corner there flickering away with a gorgeous candle underneath it so another present i had was beautiful i'm going to go through this as quickly as i can because i have a lot so another present i had is stunning it is a hogwarts hogwarts i've done it again it is a hagrid ornament with one of my favorite magical creatures Buckbeak sat on um, stood on there and obviously Hagrid is giving him either food or water in a pail um or in a, in a is it called a pail it's a bucket but a pail is an old-fashioned word for a bucket isn't it but yes so he is giving him that apparently Monica tells me that this ornament is actually meant to go with the Hagrid's hut light and I'm so tempted to go and get those beautiful lights that are available I think it's department 56 I know my friend Maria has quite a few of them I have been eyeing up the Hagrid's hut and uh, Borgin and Burke's light but they're so expensive they're like 130 pounds they're really expensive to buy so this is beautiful i don't know how much it is it's a christmas present you don't go looking at prices because it's rude but when you take out the item which i already have i'm seeing it for the first time today because i left it in the box on christmas day which was obviously yesterday and it's just so 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 beautiful look at that and the bucket is actually on a proper rope as well Buckbeak is just so beautiful. Look at that. And around the back, we have some gorgeous pumpkins just on the side. There you can see my Christmas nails. Monica, show your Christmas nails. Blue Christmas nails. Look at that. And then I got the Christmassy red and green, and she's got Christmassy blue. So that was what we were doing on Christmas Eve. Yes, yeah, Christmas Eve, but uh, absolutely beautiful. Isn't that gorgeous? And then I had a gorgeous present off Adam. Now, the reason why I'm show, I don't know why I'm saying, and I've had a gorgeous present off Adam, because I have a massive box of stuff beside me. I've got a table full of Christmas presents in front of me, so just, just bear with me. So this present was a Pandora charm to go with my ever-growing Pandora bracelet that I had off Janice and Maria for, Chris for Christmas. That I had off Janice and Maria for my birthday last year. We went to the studios and it was the most magical birthday of my life ever. So this was my beautiful present from Adam. I do love Pandora. I love the detail of their charms at the moment. And I will show you my Pandora bracelet, how it's growing so much. This was my present from Adam. It is a silver, sterling silver sorting hat Pandora charm. 
Isn't that beautiful? I absolutely love it. So, it's so detailed. These charms are incredible. So Monica is going to very kindly pass me my box, which is already in her hand. She works in film, so she's used to this sort of stuff, although this is very low budget for what she's compared to, what she's used to. Um, so I have my Pandora box. And inside, oh my God, it is growing so much. There is so much on here, but it's not... So this is the beautiful bracelet I had from Janice and Maria. This is my gorgeous charm bracelet. Okay, so this is a golden snitch charm bracelet. It actually has, I open up the clothes written on it. So we've got a, go a golden snitch, a silver golden snitch at the top there. That is so beautiful. And then all these delightful, gorgeous charms. But these aren't all from this year. I have been collecting some of these charms since Monica was a baby. So it has been amazing, but you've got like little potion bottles and everything. You've got little Hogwarts charms. You've got a Ravenclaw charm. You've got a uh, Ravenclaw diadem charm. You've got a Felix Felicis charm over here as well. No, not Felix Felicis. That's Felix Felicis. That is Veritas Serum there. And we've got some beautiful charms. We've got a Hogwarts charm there from um, Janice. We've got train, we've got a Hogwarts train, we've got a cat that looks like Garfield because my cat before. We've got a Hogwarts acceptance letter, we have a little carriage with a mum and baby and that was to celebrate me being a mum to my beautiful children. We've got gorgeous owls, oh you name it, and a Hog we've got a castle as well that looks like a sand castle. That was when I first fell in love with Harry Potter years ago. So, and that train there was to represent my granddad who was a huge trainiac but he's passed now. So, and it, we got a beautiful piano as well there, which was to represent my mum because she was a pianist. But uh, this, this charm bracelet has been growing and growing since I had it last year. So I have been incredibly, incredibly lucky to get so many beautiful items um, to fill this gorgeous charm bracelet already. However, some of them I have bought myself because Shamilla, because Shamilla uh, charms fit these as well, uh, they were actually doing a three for two last year. And I couldn't help but get a few items because I'm really normal. Just a reminder while we're doing this, on Wednesday, so that's this coming Wednesday, I am going to be doing the very first Wizardry subscription box of the year awards. So it's going to be an annual video that I will be creating and hosting every single year and you are the ones that decide who wins the trophy. Now I've got to be honest, the trophy is a lot smaller than I was hoping for. So I'm using the uh, the Pandora box to show you this beautiful trophy. It is a shape of a star and it has the three stars on top to match my tattoo. And it says 2020 Wizardry Subscription Box of the Year Awards and uh, award winners. And you have the chance to vote who wins this trophy. Now check out all the details below because you could be choosing who wins this trophy. Will it be Geek Gear? Will it be Lit Joy? The Wizarding Trunk? Uh, what else? What else have we got? We've got Cauldron Crate. We have, of course, the Leaky Attic. Uh, we have got Advanced Potions because they were incredible when they were beginning, but they're in the beginning, but I'm not sure if they should be listed because they're no longer available. So let's just say we'll pick the ones that are still going, the current subscription boxes that you can get at the moment. Obviously, Loot Crate as well. So you are the ones that decide who wins this year's subscription box of the year award. And then next year, I can't wait to do it again. So it's going to be a really exciting video. I'm even getting really glammed up for I'm wearing a dress and everything. Um, if I could have, I would have been filming it elsewhere. Um, but obviously, with us being in full lockdown, everything has changed. And I haven't been able to do the video until all the votes are in. So you have until this coming Tuesday, the 29th of December, to let me know in the comments below. And also on my community, on my um, my YouTube channel, you can also vote there uh, which one you would like to win. And if your favourite isn't listed, it's probably because I haven't covered it. I would rather have something I've covered personally, only because that way I can physically see them as well. Well, um, and I know from my own personal experience, and I can talk about that in the video. I don't like having things that I can't physically talk about. 
So make sure that you vote so you're the ones that decide who wins that trophy for this year. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited and nervous about having my first ever annual video to vote on the subscription box of the year. So it's really, really cool. This has never been done on YouTube before. You have until this Tuesday, okay? This Tuesday afternoon to vote. Make sure you do. So this is the next present. As you know, I love my smelly candles and I have this from Monica. It is a Yankee candle set, Christmas set. And I love the gorgeous little bowl, the little cup that you can put the candles in as well. It's got a beautiful snowflake on the front. So we've got, what have we got? We have got winter, winter woods. We have, ow, no, no, hang on. You know me and I haven't got the glasses on. Um, glistening Christmas. We have, oh, this one smells like this one smells. No, this one doesn't smell my favourite because uh, I haven't sniffed it yet. Uh, Holiday Magic. We have Jasmine and Cashmere. Hang on a minute. How can you smell Cashmere? Cashmere's wool, right? Does that, does that mean it smells of rabbits? Cashmere? Yeah, a bit odd. Um, anyway, maybe it's their imagination inspired by. Uh, and we have, last but not least, oh, Citrus Gingerbread. Ooh. So that is a beautiful present that I'll probably go through in about a week. <laughs> How can I have Christmas without <laughs> chocolate? Come on now, Galaxy and Lindor. Again, a lovely present from Monica. She knows me so well. Um, oh, that reminds me. Where's my chocolate frog? Monica's boyfriend loves me so much and he knows me so well already. Um, I have been sent and he works in the Harry Potter studios. I have a chocolate frog. So I haven't opened it specifically. And um, so I wanted to do it on my channel today. So we all get to see what the card is. So let's. Do you know what? This chocolate, right? It used to be the best chocolate in the world. But they have changed something about it. So it doesn't taste as creamy as it used to. So it's a bit disappointing, but it's still nice chocolate. So we have a chocolate frog. And we're gonna have a look at the card. Look at the size of that. That is humongous. So we have, what have we got? Who's that? Who's that? Can you see who that is? Let's have a look. Oh, I don't think I've got him. Devlin Whitehorn. We have. It says Devlin Whitehorn created the Nimbus Racing Broom Company. He helped design <coughs> Nimbus Brooms, which revolutionized the game of Quidditch. A master flyer, he is a Quidditch fan who enjoys watching and playing the games whenever he can. I wonder if he ever went and watched the ones at Hogwarts, because Hogwarts is quite an iconic school, isn't it? So uh, I wonder if he ever went there and visited. I did, very quickly. Merry Christmas! Are you show your t-shirt? Yeah. Your wicked t-shirt. Who did you have that off again? I can't remember. Um, Santa. Give me that. I love Santa. Ah! Look at that. The child. The child. Grogu. Isn't he so He's cute? So cute. Did you see the beginning of my last video when he was convinced that my hat was like a mic that um, spoke to Santa because he was watching Santa Claus? The Santa Claus. And he kept tapping it. Honestly. Like, coming to North Pole. Over We're there. Elf pack today. <laughs> coming to North Pole. Do that. It's okay, I'm not filming or anything, you know, it's my phone. Coming to North Pole. You are so strange. <laughs> my phone did not work. <laughs> Have you had a nice Christmas? Yes. Do you you're gonna wrap it. You're gonna wrap it. Hello. Anybody calling North Hall? Anybody there? Who would want to give him presents, in it? <laughs> Who would want to give him presents? Anybody there? Okay. Thank you. Bye bye. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Honestly, do you know what? Christmas Eve, right? We were expecting him to be a nightmare, and he was actually, wasn't he? He was actually really good. He was a good boy. I love you. Even though you're weird. Okay, so let's go back. 
bless him, he's actually put the uh, the box on the table. So we have a present because my feet get incredibly cold. Because obviously you guys know that I'm on quite strong medication at the moment, which is probably why I'm laughing so much in my videos. But I, I like the fact that I laugh so much. Um, and when for some bizarre reason, when I go to bed in the afternoons, my feet are really cold and I can't get them to warm up. So bless Monica, she's bought me lavender in lavender scented with a little lavender bag fluffy socks to wear in bed for my feet because they get ridiculously cold but it's so 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 nice two pairs of luxury socks from primark and they are so soft in fact i went to bed yesterday afternoon in fact we all did didn't we apart from dar we all went and had a little bit of a sleep because we yesterday was strange because obviously we normally go and visit everybody if you saw my live you haven't already check out the link above because somebody asked me what was our christmas tradition and what did we do and uh, we normally go and visit everybody and we obviously spend christmas evening at um, our auntie susan's and so it was very odd not to do that yesterday but because obviously i'm i'm I would get worn out quite quickly i uh, it was kind of a good thing in a way because i i managed to like go to sleep early just for an hour and a half it was just nice and why are you sitting on the table my bum's going numb oh it's so darling oh you can't reach the stuff up there though yeah, I can. what about the stuff over that side which is what which is what i need now it's called you kneel on your knees do you it, yeah. do you really yeah i'm amazed is that something you've learned recently <laughs> which one would you like over? can i have the um the bottle no no the jar thingy on behind that one I don't want to say it out loud because you guys will guess what I've got then. Okay, I'm definitely saving the best ones till last. You're not allowed to see those um, because they are beautiful. And they're not Harry Potter. Um, but they are beautiful. So we have a jar of treats. So we've got a sensory glass, solid glass jar this is. Um, of beautiful things from boots that I had from my aunties. Oh my god, they're so amazing. They smell so gorgeous. Do know how many scrunchies people get at Christmas? We do get pretty much a load, don't we? We get loads of stuff for Christmas. Um, and we got a foaming bath soak. That actually looks quite nice, actually. I love my bath products at the moment. So uh, we've got some lovely body scrub. We have body wash. And we have, what's this one in here? We have wet skin moisture miracle. Mm -hmm. That's it good and we just realized that i actually have another box of lindor anyone would think i like lindor i don't honestly i hate it it's the worst chocolate in the world just so happens when every time i go past the table i stuff about three of them in my mouth <laughs> i love my chocolate um okay so i love my lindor it's my favorite chocolate in the world so i have this off my auntie carol i think and she knows i like my bubbler so we've got a lovely bottle of prosecco with chocolates i like that that's so lovely you can't have prosecco without chocolate do you know what i mean it's got to be done and that's a mark suspenses collection so this was really cute this is actually from my mother-in-law she gave because they what they do is um adam's parents normally buy us quite an extravagant present for christmas i've got to be honest we are very very lucky um we do have we had a lovely um 4k tv last year we were in but we are it's something that we're incredibly grateful for, you know, something like that. I actually cried because Kay filmed me. Um, but it, it's, we, you know, that's not something we're used to getting, but it was a beautiful, beautiful gift. So I was expecting just like the normal, lovely smellies and things that we do get every year. And then that was it because we haven't been able to go shopping anywhere. No one's been able to do anything. Um, so obviously we've obviously expected and completely understood that everything is quite different. So I obviously opened this little, this, this little kind of knitted bag, which is gorgeous. And I've had some lovely things in it. Smoothing eye balm. Um, I've had a uh, hand cream. I've had hand wipes, which at the moment is really crucial. And some gorgeous, because I really do need them with the amount of makeup I wear for my videos, skincare wipes. And I have some lovely things, like I had my favourite perfume, which is the Midnight Fantasy by Britney Spears. I've been using this now for about five, six years. And I was so grateful for all my presents. And then we had £200 to spend between me and my husband. And I didn't know what to say. I was so shocked. That is a ridiculous amount of money for somebody to receive as a gift. And I was just completely blown away. Um, so we are, I'm obviously going to buy something incredibly special with that as a mem as a momentum of what's Christmas, this Christmas has been. And for us, especially, we've been incredibly lucky. 
and amazingly Adam allowed me to say grace around the dinner table yesterday for Christmas Day. I was really shocked and my kids just looked at me horrified because I'm Christian, they're not. Um, and they allowed me to say grace because we've had things like, and I'm sorry to bring up the bad stuff, but you had in Devon in the UK, because obviously a lot of my audience are in America, in Devon in the UK, um, no, Dover in the UK, over 2,000 lorry drivers have been stuck. Sorry, 5,000, Monica's just corrected me, 5,000 lorry drivers stuck in Dover on Christmas Day because they couldn't get home to their parents because France had obviously shut the border, which is fair enough with the new, with the, uh, the new strain of coronavirus. It's been incredibly scary for other countries. But the fact that 5,000 lorry drivers were stuck in Dover on Christmas Day and they spent Christmas Day in their cabins alone. And for me, I just looked at my family around the dinner table and the gorgeous, incredible meal that was in front of us and thought how incredibly lucky we are compared to some. So this Christmas for me personally has been one of the best because Monica came home. Because you know I have been desperate for Monica to come home for Christmas because she's been, obviously she works in London. Um, and the boys hadn't seen her since July and we were actually worried that they were going to do all of this kind of locking down the borders and everything But they said no, no, we're not gonna lock down the borders until the 28th So everybody was okay. Everyone was relaxed and so on But then Monica obviously had more time than she realized to come home So she came home on the Friday and then they announced they were blocked They were locking the borders down on the Saturday and if she hadn't have come down on the Friday she wouldn't have been here for Christmas and that would have completely and utterly destroyed my Christmas. My Christmas would have been, and I know I would have been trying my hardest for the boys, um, but if Monica couldn't spend Christmas here, she wouldn't have been able to spend Christmas with anybody either. She would have been locked in her place because her boyfriend was in a different area to her. Um, it would have been for me. It would have been the worst Christmas ever. So compared to a lot of people out there, we were incredibly, incredibly lucky. And yeah. And, and for me, that for that reason alone, um, we have had the best Christmas we've ever had. And it has been amazing. Even me and you haven't argued. And it's been so cool, because <laughs> we normally do, we're so similar. And so we normally do bicker constantly. Um, but we haven't argued this year at all, uh, this this time at all. And the boys got to see you, and, and you saw the video that I posted up, because Monica's, I didn't realize Harry didn't know she was coming home. So he was jumping, bouncing up and down, getting so excited. And uh, yeah, it has been the best Christmas ever. And you got to see your dad mm -hmm. as well. So, couldn't get Daniel the PS5. <laughs> but he knows he's still getting it, but obviously with it being uh, sold out everywhere. So compared to a lot of people, we have had the best Christmas ever. And I'm so grateful for that. And my hands are sweaty, I'm so sorry. <laughs> So yeah, um, it has been a really, really good Christmas and the food was amazing. The turkey Adam's mum bought us, which she buys us a turkey crown every year, lover. And we cooked it on Christmas Eve and it was just perfect. I didn't give anyone food poisoning, <laughs> so that was a bonus. I actually, don't you start. <laughs> I actually have, um, oh, tissue. I actually have uh, a whole second Christmas dinner to enjoy because I only, as a rule, I only ever eat half of my like Sunday dinner, my Christmas dinner, so I can then go and enjoy it then the next day or that evening or something. And um, yeah, so I've got a whole second Christmas dinner to enjoy today. Oh my God, my eyes are streaming now. But yes, it's been an emotional couple of days for a lot of people, but for us, um, thank you. We have been very lucky. So I did receive a beautiful, it's upside down, <laughs> a Hedwig mask from Adam's parents as well. Um, it's fluffy, the problem with these are, because obviously you've seen I've had one before, they're too small. I've got a big head, okay? And that's not in the other sense, so don't even start. Um, but I have got a big head, so these don't actually fit. They're very small. Monica's head's a lot smaller than mine, and it doesn't fit hers either. So these are more for a younger person, I think. Um, but they are incredibly soft, so I'm gutted it doesn't actually fit. So what else have I had, Mon? Oh my God, I asked, oh no, no, I didn't ask you, did I, last year? Monica mentioned to me that you can get, because my feet get really cold. And if my feet and hands get cold, right, I'm cold, okay? And she mentioned last year that you can get microwavable slippers. 
I have to wear slippers, I have to wear things on my feet. Um, and in the day my feet get really cold. And bless her, bless her heart, she actually bought some this year. Microwavable slippers, they are so soft. And in here is full of like the microwavable beans. And uh, you only put it on for about a minute and it smells of lavender then when you put them in the microwave. And um, yeah, and they are just, they're just as soft inside as they are outside. My eyes are still watering. Uh, but these are so incredibly soft. So I cannot wait to give them a try. I haven't given them a try yet because I'm still boiling. Um, as you know, this house gets incredibly warm, but I'm so excited to give them a try. I'm so excited, I can't, I can't wait. I'm so glad she bought some for me because they are just amazing. <laughs> Okay, so what is next? My wonderful and one of my bestest friends in the world, Janice. She sent me a beautiful present, but she, what she didn't know was, is I planned, because she's been trying to get hold of the Star Race Dobby, that was a, a, a one sixth scale Dobby. Now they came out a couple of years ago, and when they came out, or when they were pre-order, you could pay for them in installments, so 99 pound in the beginning. So I bought mine, this was before my uh, connection with Star Race, obviously I'm very much uh, a promoter for Star Race now, I always get sent their items that they're, re that they're releasing. And so she's been after it for so long, trying to find it all across social media. You can get the 1 8 scale, but it's not the original. And it was so expensive. And what she didn't realise was, is this Christmas I actually planned on sending her my one and I wish I'd seen her reaction when she opened it she says she cried and I just I loved the fact because Janice does so much for me she is an incredible friend and she deserved Dobby you know she's got like the biggest collection of Dobby in the world you know I reckon she's got the biggest collection of Dobbies in the world so bless Janice not obviously um she didn't know that I sent her, she didn't know I was sending her anything. So before I'd even discussed about sending her a present, she sent me, I didn't know what it was until Christmas day. But look at this Ravenclaw goblet. How incredible is that? This was from Amazon and it is absolutely outstanding. I love this goblet. I have tried drinking out of it because that's what I do. Um, but look at that goblet, isn't that incredibly outstanding and beautiful? And it's like an aluminium, like a stainless steel inside. I'd say stainless steel, I would. But we gave it a little wash and it just, for some bizarre reason, went incredibly shiny. And I just washed it gently with a bit of water and I rubbed it down with a dry tea towel. And it is just, that's just because I had a bit of a drink out of it. But it is just absolutely stunning. I love it. Who is it by? It doesn't say who it's by underneath, but I assume it's from somebody like Paladone International, or uh, sorry, Pyramid International, Paladone, or something like that. But it is just beautiful. And I love the detail of the stones down here as well. And then obviously you've got the beautiful crest on it. And then the gorgeous stone detail. You can actually get all of the houses, but they are quite pricey. So I think just getting the one for your house is ideal. But it is just so beautiful. And thank you so much, Janice, for this. I love it. As I said, I have already drunk out of it. <laughs> Why wouldn't I? Come on now. Oh. <laughs> Looking for the box, the bottle is using it as a table. You can have it back in a minute, I promise. Right, this was a present from Adam. Um, apparently they're becoming very hard to get hold of at the moment because they're becoming very popular. And so he managed to get me the McGonagall one. And these are by, who are these by again? Uh, these are by Enesco, and I hadn't actually heard of Enesco in the beginning. Um, but they do McGonagall, I think they do Snape, and Hagrid, um, and apparently Hagrid, is uh, his face looks incredibly lifelike. So I'm gonna have to look into possibly acquiring the other two figures. But this was such a beautiful shock to get, and this is because of my cosplay, because I love cosplaying as uh, Professor McGonagall, absolutely love it. The item is just outstanding. Oh, shuck, sorry. Monica's <laughs> <laughs> looking at me and saying, Come on then, where's, why can't, why am I up in the box to put my laptop on? <laughs> How dare you mother. <laughs> the item is out of this world. The, the McGonagall face is just, it's so perfect 
and the costume, the robe, she's got gold patterns going down the front of her robes. It is just incredible. And then you have obviously the sorting hat on the side and then amazingly which is what i really love i don't know if you can see it very well there you have the list of students going down on the scroll it is just incredible the detail is beautiful look at all of that on the back look at the detail and i love the fact that you've got the steps going up to the stage there of the great hall it is just magnificent and so 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 well done i love her brooch so you have her beautiful brooch the iconic brooch it's just so so gorgeous i love it i have no idea where i'm going to put these honestly i'm like completely clueless but i think i'm going to have to rearrange some shelves to find i did say to adam i need to sort out maybe a mcgonagall shelf i think so this present is something I asked Adam for. I, I started, I mean, don't get me wrong, right? I've been into Lord of the Rings. I've been into Lord of the Rings since Monica was a baby. Uh, since Daniel was a baby. Since 2002, started watching the film. Um, on video, that's how long it was, on VHS. And uh, I've gotta be honest, and I have said this in a video in the past. Oh, in a video in the past? Why am I looking down there? <laughs> in a video in the past. If Lord of the Rings had carried on, um, I very, very, quite possibly could have been more obsessed with Lord of the Rings than Harry Potter. I don't know. Nobody knows. Uh, what would we be without Harry Potter? And so for the last, when, I know, tell a lie, it was when, I've, I've loved it for so long, but I never have any merchandise, I don't have any merchandise from Lord of the Rings. So that's quite a shock, actually. And ever since doing the the video for the long, the, a long expected parcel. Is it a long expected parcel? I did a video, a Lord of the Rings unboxing subscription box, um, which sold out incredibly fast from a lady from, um, from Australia. Uh, no, tell a lie, from New Zealand, that's right. Um, I saw this online, God, in the summer. And it wasn't until I had that box that I realised I don't actually have any Lord of the Rings items. Come on now, why not? You know, I love Lord of the Rings. And so I didn't actually ask for any Harry Potter this year. I asked for Lord of the Rings items. This was the only thing I asked for. It is a Lothlorien candle holder from Fellowship of the Rings. It is just incredible. Now the only problem, this is by Noble Collection. Now the only problem with this item is, it's not metal. And it is in fact, next to the, the Mad Eye Moody stuff, the Noble Collection Mad Eye Moody stuff, this is in fact the second most delicate item they have in their shop. According to Elisa, who was the lady I spoke to when I did my unboxing there. If you didn't see that, check out the link above. This Lothlorien candle holder is the most magical and magnificent item I have ever seen. Now, sadly, a part of it did arrive damaged. Now, it was such a tiny, tiny detail that I actually managed to fix it without any problems whatsoever. And you cannot see where the break was. It's that tiny. So I'm incredibly lucky to have been able to sort that out. And this is obviously the candle holder that comes with it. So we've already used it. We used it for our Christmas decoration on our table yesterday for our Christmas dinner. But it is just outstanding. I love it. This is priced, I think, at £78. And it is £78 well, well spent. I didn't buy it, so it's not a problem. However, it's still a very, very, very good piece um, to buy for that amount of money. I think it's well worth the cost. But just beware, if you do buy it, be very careful when you get it out of the box because it is very well packed. Um, we had to be incredibly uh, delicate taking it out of the box and we uh, one of the suggestions is break the polystyrene around it, break it away from the actual item instead of trying to pull it out because they are so incredibly delicate, but it is beautiful. 
Okay, Monica, would you like to show me my uh, second to last item? I actually bought this and gave it to Adam to, to give to me because I because he bought something that I gave to him in the end. Um, it is the now sold out uh, Luna Livegood dressing gown from platform nine and three quarters. Oh my God, this dressing gown is ridiculously soft. It is the softest dressing gown I have ever had in my life. This is a size, this is size large. And when I say large, I mean huge. I'm a size 16 and it drowns me. It is just so incredibly, incredibly soft. Now the only way at the moment you can get this dressing gown is if you buy the, the Luna Love Good inspired trunk or dedicated trunk from Platform 9 3 quarters. I think it's priced £150. This on its own is only £38. And if you're a Gold Web member, Wisdom World Gold member, I think it's £32. So if you can, try and wait until it's back in stock because it is well worth the money. It's so soft. And now we move on to my final item that I cried over. Monica did not know that I had wanted this item since I was younger. And now when I say younger, I mean in my 20s. So for me, that's a lot younger. But she sent me the message, have you got this mum? And I said, no, I haven't, but I've always wanted it. I And I secretly hoped, because she's got a really good job now, right? Um, I secretly hoped, but wasn't, how would I put it? If I wasn't, it wasn't a case of I have to have it or I'm really upset if she doesn't get it for me. I, because that sounds really selfish, I, but I secretly hope, we're allowed to hope, aren't we, with Christmas presents, that she would get it. And I just expected the first part, I didn't expect the second part as well. But Monica bought me the Elven Star necklace from Lord of the Rings that Arwen wears, and she gives to Aragorn. So she bought me the necklace, which is outstanding, and she bought me the case to match. Isn't that beautiful. Now these are by Noble Collection. So we have the Arwen, <laughs> we'll get it right in a minute, Even Star by Noble Collection on a beautiful 925 sterling silver chain. And we have synthetic crystals inside the actual pendant. There is one more expensive than this. To be completely honest though, I, I wore it for a little while yesterday, but even if it had been the, the solid silver version with the Swarovski crystals, I don't think I'd wear it as much anyway. I just love the fact that I have always wanted this necklace, okay? And I finally have it. And then I have the most beautiful, beautiful display case. You have the gorgeous, just gorgeous, gorgeous, just gorgeous, gorgeous display case. I'll get it right in a minute. Um, with this stunning archway where the necklace hangs in the middle, and the beautiful patterns around the side, and of course you've got the beautiful glass dome that goes on top. This, as far as I'm aware, is pewter. So yes, I was right. This is actually pewter on top of a wooden base, and then obviously you've got the uh, the velvet underneath. So I'm saying Warner Brothers, I'm so used to Warner Brothers with Harry Potter, but this is New Line Cinema, so it's obviously an officially licensed item, um, and of course we all know that Noble Collection are such high quality items anyway. Um, I love Noble, I seriously need to kind of go down there soon and have a, a lovely chat with them all when we finally come out of lockdown. And it means I get to spend time with Monica as well. But how beautiful is that? Isn't it gorgeous? So that out of all my presents, the Lothlorien candle holder and the stunning uh, Even Star necklace as well uh, with the display case have been my favorite items. I absolutely love them. So that is everything I've had for Christmas. How incredibly spoiled have I been? I actually felt guilty, okay, because I had so much. I even said this to you yesterday, didn't I? And ah, uh, how guilty I felt. Because I'd had so many presents. And I'm starting to tear up again. And I'm going to stop. Um, but yeah, this Christmas has been difficult for so many people. And I just really, really... <laughs> that's one way of doing it. Monica pull a face. <laughs> uh, this Christmas has been difficult for so many people. And she's just looking really strange right now. <laughs> but remember that Hogwarts will always be there to welcome you home. And for those of you who love Lord of the Rings, uh, Lord of the Rings will always be there to welcome you home. But uh, yeah, we've been spoiled this year. Thank you ever so much for watching. Please look after yourselves. Please look after each other. Take care. I love you all. And I will speak to you very, very soon. Bye-bye.
to check out more of my content, take a look at this video right here or this video right here. Don't forget to like and subscribe.